Understanding Thin Tone in English. Hello, dear learners. Today, we're diving into an interesting English phrase, thin tone. Have you heard this before? Let's explore its meaning and usage together. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear grasp of what it means and how to use it in your conversations. Thin and tone are two distinct words in English, but when combined, they form a unique phrase. Let's look at them separately first. Thin. It refers to something that has little thickness, is slender, or lacks substance. Tone. It refers to the quality or character of sound. When we combine them, thin tone generally refers to a sound or voice that lacks richness or fullness. It might be weak, faint, or lacks depth. Think of it as the opposite of a robust, deep, or rich sound. To understand any phrase better, it's always a good idea to see it in action. Here are some example sentences. 1. The old radio had a thin tone, making songs sound less vibrant. 2. After recovering from a cold, her voice had a thin tone for a few days. 3. The new violinist plays beautifully, but the instrument has a somewhat thin tone. From these examples, you can see that thin tone is often used to describe sounds or voices that might lack some depth or strength. Understanding synonyms can help reinforce the meaning of a phrase. Here are some synonyms for thin tone, weak sound, faint voice, hollow sound, feeble tone. Remember, the context in which you use these synonyms might vary, but they can be helpful in giving you a broader understanding of the phrase. And there you have it. Now you're well equipped to understand and use the phrase thin tone in your English conversations. It's always exciting to learn new idioms and phrases as they add color and depth to our language skills. We hope you found this video helpful. Stay curious and keep learning!